The movie begin with a voice narrating a story of about a keiju, then a keiju and not a hero, before introducing us to Ultraman. As the Ultraman uses his amazing powers to keep the city safe as he also called it maintaining balance. The scene then cut to a young boy called Kenji, who is seen playing with his father called Professor Sato. They both make dinner together before his mother then called him. They all had a family moment as the little boy is portrayed to be the Ultraman. Just then, his father then told him that Ultraman's most important task is always finding balance. Kenji and his mom then watch the baseball match on TV. This is interrupted by Professor Sato and he asked Kenji which of the characters would he have chosen between Matsui or Ultraman. His wife then told him that it is a difficult question for a young boy. Immediately a call from Dr. Onda then came in, who informed them that their family are in danger as their level of defense has been bridged, while also warning him that Digantron is coming for them. Professor Sato then leave as he gave responsibility of Kenji to his wife. Kenji cried but his father promised him that he will be back before the seventh inning stretch, referring to the baseball game, before a plane crashed. Ultraman then became big. Then scene then switched to 20 years later as we see Kenji listening to the voice message his father left him. Kit Sato is then seen in interview as he told the reporters that he loves baseball. Seems he's now a baseball player. A young woman named Ami Wakika then questioned Kenji about the reason he left his baseball team in America who were on the verge of winning their first championship, just for him to leave and start all over in Japan. She believes it's due to emotional issues and it was caused by the loss of his mother. Kenji ignored the question and leaves. His coach approached Kenji, and they discussed, but Kenji informed him that he's here to help the team win. We then see a battle between Ultraman and a Kaju. After a long extended battle, Ultraman finally knock out the Kaju, so it seems, until it wakes up again and began smashing Ultraman. Just then, the Kaju is contained by government officials before also warning the Ultraman that he isn't an authorized government agent. We see an old man watching a news about the Keiju attack, Hisen Kenji, now the Ultraman, then left the scene as he wants the KDF to handle the issues. He's also informed by his artificial intelligence that he has a meet with the interviewer from earlier, Ami Wakika. They both went to a dinner together before she start throwing questions to Kenji regarding him not winning any title in his career, but he wanted the greatest player to play the game. She informed him that personal stats don't win championship. They both have an amazing evening together after Ami Wakika throws so many questions on him. Before just then, Ami Wakika kid then ran into the room and Kenji is surprised about her having a kid. Meanwhile, the scene cut to Dr. Ronda, instructing his student about the keiju and their destruction. An operation began as we see a lot of choppers on a mission with a keiju following them. Kenji trained but it seems he has an injury in his arm, then quit his training. He watches the news about an old lady saying that now that Ultraman is bad, he act like he doesn't really care. Kenji seems really sad about all this. The next day seems to be a game day for Kenji as he prepares to go, play and win. But as he walked to the stadium, he still feels the pain in his arm, but ignored it. While he plays, his arm seriously hurt as he misses the first two strike. The chopper from earlier approach as well. After switching his arm side, Kenji finally made a hit. The old man from earlier immediately see the chopper heading straight to the stadium ground as they had a crash. Just then a beast called Digantron appeared, Kenji immediately ran toward it and began fighting the Digantron as it was a punishment for messing up his game. But the Digantron blasts Kenji. We then get to see Dr. Onda ordering his boys to kill the Digantron and retrieve his package. The Digantron then stole one of the package. Ultraman is informed that if he doesn't help, they will kill the Digantron before flying off to help. Ultraman then informed the special force that the Gigantron is flying away and they should let it be. The special force immediately get an instruction from their boss that if Ultra interfere, they have the power now to use deadly weapon on him. Ultraman try convincing the Gigantron to give him the package, but it disagrees. The special force are instructed to nuke Ultraman which they proceeded doing so. With a massive force, Ultra and the Gigantron landed in an ocean. But fortunately, Ultraman is okay, but the Gigantron is in pain as he's dying. Ultraman then immediately carried the package, as it then blasts opening an egg. A new baby is then born. Ultraman then sneak out of the scene as the special force approaches them. They analyze the infant Keiju, but the bot doesn't know anything about an infant Keiju, as no database was recorded about them. But it seems the infant Keiju thinks Ultraman is her mother. 
Kenji can't take care of her as he can't take care of a baby now because he wants to focus more on winning a title for himself. The baby began crying as she is scared of him because she doesn't know him and she only knows Ultraman. Just then, they cage her. We then know the old man watching Kenji earlier was his father. Dr. Vonda goes to the scene and found out that the egg hashed. Meanwhile, Kenji's father then visited his son. They had a talk but Kenji is mad at his father as he only cared more about the cage than his own son. Before eventually leaving his home, Kenji goes to train the baby Keiju to get to know who he is, even when he isn't the Ultraman. The baby is very hungry and point to a fish nearby is that what they feed on. Ultraman then goes fishing, bringing a lot of fishes to her. Kenji then get an information that he will still be playing the game tomorrow. We see as Kenji gain went bad as he's seen fighting. The scene then cut to day one of Kenji taking care of the baby Keiju but things isn't going well for him. As he's busy struggling with his game as he now has 10 losses in a roll now, due to lack of sleep. Days goes by and he's still struggling badly. Kenji is depressed and began crying as he's now tired. Kenji then decided to give a call to Ami Wakika, but she tell him that she is really busy, but she will only give him a five minute of her time. Kenji asked her about how Ami Wakika really handle her baby stress, as she has a kid and a job, like isn't it stressful and affecting her? She encouraged him, gave him an advice about taking care of a child, and Kenji decided to play with his baby Keiju, and they both practice baseball together. Meanwhile, Dr. Honda and his crew are still busy finding the baby Kaju. Kenji head out on a date with Ami Wakika, and they both discuss. Baby Keiju watch a replay of Kenji game, and with joy, immediately blasts the cage making an opening. Kenji is still busy discussing with Ami Wakika, in a restaurant. Baby Kaju then escape as she goes looking for her daddy but also scared as she began spoiling things. Kenji rushed over to go get his baby Kaju, but Dr. Rondo also prepared his guys to go get the baby Kaju as well. Just then, baby Kaju then meet Ami Wakika and her baby to which it playfully chased them. Kenji eventually catches up with baby Kaju but get a blast from it. Just then, as the baby ran away, he then met one of Dr. Vonda drones which tried tranquilizing him, but he struck it away just like a baseball game. After a long chase, the baby Kaju is then tranquilized by the bot, making him fall but Ultraman save her, but also breaking her arm in the process. Although he is requested to give them the baby, Ultraman ignored them and flew the scene, heading straight to his dad. Ultraman begs his father to help him out in taking care of the baby, which he did so. The gang informed Dr. Onda of their failure but he forgive them as he also got a chance to analyze the baby Kaju. As they plan using the baby Kaju to track all other Kaju in order to destroy them all. Dr. Onda goes to a secret room where he is taking care of the baby Kaju mother. Back to Kenji and his father, he informed his dad that this doesn't make them united as father and son. Just then Professor Sato, Ultraman dad, then shows Kenji the news tarnishing his name as an accomplished to Kaju. Professor Sato tells his son about Dr. Ronda, as he doesn't give up until he achieves his goals, which is getting the baby Kaju and killing the Ultraman. Professor Sato then named baby Kaju as Ini, which is Ultraman's mother name. They both began training baby Ini on how to defend and herself, while Kenji is now doing well with his baseball games. Kenji, Professor Sato, and baby Ini then go out on a trip. Professor Sato then showed Kenji what he was working on before telling his son that he truly misses his wife. Just then, Kenji saw all his awards he gave to his mother which she gave to her husband. At night Kenji and Ini play together. Dr. Onda is busy thinking, before he then received a message, saying the drones have now located the baby Keiju. But baby Ini then blasts them of destroying all drones, Dr. Onda is very furious. Just then baby Ini began changing, as it seems that she has just entered the Kaju pupil stage. But more drones appears, destroying Ultraman Jet, and his father is seriously injured by this. Kenji goes crazy after seeing his dad on the floor. At the headquarters, they found more information on Ultraman as they have signal on him now. Professor Sato is still very weak from the blast and Imi is still in her state. But just then, Imi then blew up as she is now transformed. She goes outside, only for her to see her mother from distance. Kenji believes that was not possible. Imi goes to meet her mom, as she can now fly. Immediately, a lot of noop for the scent going towards Kenji home. The scene then cut to Kenji waking up and his drone half destroyed. Kenji runs to go see his dad only for him to realize that his dad is now finally gone. Kenji cried but his drone tell him that even if he doesn't want to be like his father, he was meant to be the Ultraman. 
she then tell Kenji that Emmy tracking device is still active and he should go get their girl. The next scene, we see as the Digantron and her baby Kenji is going back to the Kaju Island, while Dr. Onda tracked them from afar. Ultraman approached the Digantron and it informed baby Emmy that that's not his real mama, and it was a trick by Dr. Onda to let her lead them to the Kaju Island. Ultraman began to fight the fake Digantron with Dr. Onda behind the control. He releases his missile which Ultraman blocks, but unfortunately, one of them hit Amy, making her unconscious. Kenji goes crazy and began hitting the Gigantron, but just as he prepared giving it a finishing blow, he found out that the Gigantron is truly Amy's mother which is obviously manipulated by Dr. Onda. But unfortunately also for Kenji the Gigantron grabbed him by the neck, only to laser him and dropping him into the ocean. But in a shocking twist, we then found out that the Ultraman dad is surprisingly alive as he helped his son out. Meanwhile, Emmy tries to disrupt the Dr. Onda transmission to control the Digantron, which was successfully as they do not have control over it anymore. Dr. Onda orders more men to go fight the Ultraman before releasing a secret blast on the Digantron body. Kenji and Professor Sato, the two Ultramen, then began fighting a very big robot sent to them by Dr. Onda. After a long extended battle, with the help of the Gigantron, Emmy and the both Ultramen, they all fought Dr. Onda blasting him with their mouth lasers, destroying his robot. Meanwhile, Dr. Onda set a 60-second self-destruction on his robot before watching a video of his daughter and family. Kenji immediately noticed the wave and immediately know that he will destroy them all. But Kenji ran towards it to try to contain the explosion. In an off-screen, we see a very loud blast. The scene cut to an interview with Ami Wakiko, where Kenji is giving credit to his team for winning the championship. We then see as baby Emi and her mother going back to the Kaju Island. After a post-credit scene, we get to see Kenji listening to a voice note, saying, I'm still alive. Help me get back home seems like Kenji Mong is still alive. The movie then came to an end. If you enjoy content like this, kindly subscribe for more recap. Goodbye.